Hi everyone, wanted to share with you how to stain your seam binding using the Distress Stain. And it comes in 12 different colors. And um, here are the colors. This is the Dusty Concord, um, which is a really gorgeous purple. Really pretty. And then we have the Wild Honey. It's really nice orange. And then we have the Antique Linen. Really beautiful. And this is the Forest Moss, which is a nice deep green. And then here we have Peeled Paint, one of my favorite colors. And then we have the Weathered Wood, it's a really nice soft silver. And then we have Broken China, really pretty blue. And then we have my favorite vintage photo and this is what's great also about this because as you all know I love using my distress inks and to have the coordinating um, seam binding to go with my projects is just perfect and this is the faded jean and then we have a nice deep red which is fired brick and then here's spun sugar which is a really nice soft pink and then we have my all-time favorite walnut stain which is a nice deep brown and so let me share with you how quick and easy this is um, I just took a little box here and I save my old craft mat sheet um, as you can see I've used it so much and so um, when you replace it with another one just save the old one and then just cut it to size to fit your box and then I'm going to take some seam binding here and I use um, the Hug Snug which has a hundred yards which is awesome and this is in the winter white so we're going to go ahead and spray some water on there and then we're just going to do this and then just kind of crinkle it up a little bit and then let's see let's take I love the forest moss and as you know the distress stain is a dauber top so we're just going to press down onto the craft sheet let's go back and forth a couple of times and then just spray just a little water and then we're going to go ahead and do this. And what's great is if you want the color to be uh, more darker, then you just keep adding more of the distress stain. And then just a little more water. and then just go ahead and wipe that off. Some paper towel here. And let's go ahead and heat set that. And it's really nice because it heat sets in a matter of um, seconds. And you get a really beautiful color. I hope um, Tim Holtz creates these stains with all his Distress Ink colors. I don't have um, any of the re-inkers, only because when I use up my ink pad, my Distress Ink pad, I just replace the whole ink pad um, because I wear and tear the pad so much. Um, I never really invested in getting re-inkers. And so this is how quick and easy it is to stain your seam binding. And again, you get a really beautiful, um, nice color. And again, this is using the Tim Holtz Distress Stain. And thank you everyone for watching. Bye.